Hey guys, welcome back to my channel And I am back here with another Christmas treats ideas Today we are making this really cute giant gingerbread man cake Along with this snowman gingerbread cake pops They are great for a Christmas party Which is never complete without lots of gingerbread around This moist cake is laced with all the best spices And is brimming with robust flavors So I hope you guys like it And let's get started to start off, we are going to make our marshmallow fondant for the cake decorations. I rarely buy ready-made fondant, so I usually make my own marshmallow fondant. I like it so much not just because it's quite cheap, but also easy, has a beautiful consistency, and you only need 3 ingredients to make it. So what you need to do is pour your big bag of marshmallow into a microwave safe bowl or in a double boiler. You might want to grease the bowl and spatula with a bit of shortening before mixing to prevent stickiness. Add about 2 tablespoons of water and microwave it in 30 seconds intervals, stirring in between until the marshmallow completely melted. Then add in 3 quarters of the icing sugar and mix. At this point, you can add any flavoring you want. I personally never add any extract cause I love the original vanilla flavor from the marshmallow After the fondant begins to come together grease sands and counter generously with shortening and then turn marshmallow mixture onto the counter add some more leftover icing sugar and continue kneading until it's form a firm nice and smooth elastic ball If it starts to feel a bit dry you can add half tablespoon of water at a time and knead it again until it feels soft and pliable. Once it's kneaded, grease the outsides of the bowl to prevent dryness and then stir them in a ziplock bag to keep it moist. I do my best to give very precise recipes but with different brands of marshmallow and sugar sometimes there is a little difference and yields different results Anyways, it's still a beautiful delicious fondant Moving on, let's work on our cake butter Grease the pan, line bottom with a parchment paper and grease it again Then in the large bowl, combine the flour, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, baking powder, and salt, mix well And for the yummy kind of ginger molasses mixture, you are going to combine the baking soda and boiling water Along with molasses and granulated sugar, mix it all through. It's gonna fizz up a bit, just keep on stirring until the sugar dissolves and well combined. Add in the vegetable oil and eggs, mix well. Then we send the dry ingredients into molasses mixture, one third at a time, mixing well after each addition. Strain the mixture to remove any lumps. Then pour mixture into a prepared pan. I would like to add some mixed peel to add extra depth of flavor. It's a combination of mixed cut orange and lemon peel. You can omit it if you want. Just sprinkle it on top of the cake butter and sink it into the cake mixture. Bake it in the preheated 180 degrees Celsius oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until toothpick inserted into center comes out clean. After baking, remove it from the pan, let it cool completely on the cooling rack. While the cake cool up, we are going to make our super yummy brown sugar buttercream frosting. 
So you are going to mix the flour and milk together. Strain the mixture to remove any lumps. Cook on the stove or just microwave it in 20 second intervals until it just become a paste. Set aside and cool completely. And then in a large bowl, you are going to cream the butter, brown sugar, and salt together until it gets a really smooth consistency. Add in the cold flour paste and beat it for about 5 minutes on medium high to high until it looks like whipped cream. Then add in all the spices, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, along with vanilla extract. Mix until well combined. Now we are ready to assemble our cute gingerbread man cake. Slice the cake into two layers. Top with a layer of frosting. Smooth it out. Place the second layer of cake on top. Then using gingerbread man template, we are going to start cutting our cake layers with a serrated knife. Don't waste the leftover cake, cause they are really perfect for our adorable snow and cake pops. Just crush them into fine crumbs. Take about 25 grams for the body, 10 grams for the head, and roll it into a ball. Once you have rolled all your cake balls, you can put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. You don't want them to be frozen, so after about 15 minutes, put them in the fridge and let them stay chilled there. And while they are chilling, we can continue with our cake. Once we are happy with the shape, we can start covering it with the buttercream. Using small spatula, I'm going to apply a thin layer all over the cake. And this is just going to lock in all those little crumbs, smooth it out. And then I'm going to put in the fridge for about 25 minutes to firm up a bit. And in the meantime, let's prepare our fondant. Color fondant with some burn food coloring. Knead it until the color is incorporated. And then rolling out the fondant on a cornstarch surface to about 3 mm thick. Prick the fondant surface to remove air bubbles. And then draping it over our chill cake. I'm working quickly with my hands, just to get all the air pushed out from the underneath that fondant. I'm going around the head, and the arms, and the legs, and gently pressing the fondant. Once it was smoothed down with my knife tool, I'm going around the cake and just cutting around that excess fondant. Next, let's create the details. I'm going to cut and combine black, white, blue fondant for the eyes. Then roll some white fondant to create his eyebrows using red fondant to create his cute eye and then cut three love shape for his buttons two small pink ovals for his blush then using some white and red fondant to create some tiny peppermint sticks
and cut some brown fondant for its pocket. And then I roll out some white fondant that I'm gonna draping over the top of his head. And I'm gonna cut it like dripping icing pattern with my knife. Then I rolled a bit of red, green, yellow, and blue fondant, placing it all over the top of the drip icing. And for the remaining details, you can arrange first before you stick them to make sure they are in a correct position. Then I place a long strip white fondant over his legs to create a wavy pattern. Then I add the wavy strips for his hands. And finally, don't forget his cute little peppermint pockets. Moving on, let's continue with our cake pops. I have melted some white chocolate and my cake balls are ready to go. So to do this, take a lollipop stick, dip it into the melted chocolate, just about a half inch, take it out and insert it straight into the large cake ball, insert it until past the cake ball, and then dip it into melted chocolate again, and finally, insert it into the small cake ball. And then dip all into the melted chocolate and remove it just like that. You don't want to sear it around cause you will loosen the cake pops from the stick. Place it in your styrofoam block to dry and then you can start to do the second coating. And then if you have any excess, you can tap it off with a gentle motion. After the coating sets, we can start to decorate them. I'm going to show you three different snowmans today, but of course, feel free to make any design you want. Have fun with them. So I will add his nose, cheek, head, earphones, and scarf with fondant and a bit of water. And to finish it off, I'm using some melted dark chocolate for his eyes and mouth. Alright guys, our giant gingerbread man cake and tiny snowman cake are finished now. As you can see, they all look so adorable. And they are really great for Christmas showstopper cakes. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. The warm spices, the rich sticky molasses, their little smiles, and the fun of decorating them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Bemboom Kitchen, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys!